Hello, I have a bunch of little, well I have three little granny square scraps from a previous project. I will link it down below so you can uh, make these squares if you want to. And I'll link that below. So you'll have two types of granny squares to choose from and the, the, the joining method is in the strawberry fields pillow. So this is what it's going to look like on me. I just wanted to show you how I joined them. I put uh, three this way. This is going to be the flap. I'm going to put two buttons right there. And uh, then I folded these two. So I almost made a cube. Just had one side missing. So if you were making um, some soft blocks for babies to play with, you could do little granny squares, even tinier than this if you wanted to. And then sew them together in a block. And uh, I think this Rick Rack type um, slip stitch, zigzag slip stitch join would really look cute on some baby blocks. But once I had these all sewn together, I folded them so that it makes a, a pouch on, uh, and I'll wear it around my hips as a, a belt. And it's just enough for a cell phone and a wallet and keys. And then I'm going to line it so nothing falls through. Because you hate to lose your lip gloss through a hole in a granny square. And as much as I like my solid granny squares, there's still holes in them. So you don't want to lose a pen or anything like that. I just don't want to get it caught on anything either. Because these floats can be pulled easily. So I'll just have that all lined. I'll come back and um, I'll show you how to cut the lining. And then I'll sew the lining and then we'll put it in. And then the last thing we'll do, uh, which will be new material, we'll be doing the straps that will go around the waist, the belt part. Uh, you could make this into a little sling bag if you wanted to. Just wear it over your shoulder, opposite shoulder, and let it hang down. Um, but I'm, I'm all about the retro, so the fanny pack is back, baby. And uh, this would actually look cute with a fairy costume. If you wanted to do like a renaissance fair or a fairy festival, um, you could make something like this and then, um, you know, put it as part of your fairy costume. And it would be a nice little purse that, you know, would be uh, right in keeping with a fairy theme. Use your imagination and have fun with your scraps. So yeah, just play with your uh, scrap materials. This is just going to be the lining, this cotton bit, for the bag. So cut all around. that you have uh, a little bit of uh, room to sew because you're going to have to fold in the ends at the top. Okay, so even more scraps used. Yay! So now I have to turn this inside out. And I'm going to sew along here, and I'm going to sew along here, and then going to fold in the edges and sew all along this 
top part of it. So I will be back and I will show you what that looks like. And oh, this has kind of a seam already, but it's a little raw, so I might pick that out and, and fix that up maybe with a ribbon or something. We'll see. But anyway, I will come back and show you how it looks inside. This is what it looks like. I just went around and folded down the edges and then did a little whip stitch. Next part, belt. I started playing around with this as a belt. If you like that, I'll probably make a short uh, video on just how to do this. I'm just going to do a crab stitch so I can still fit my hook in here after I've sewn it so close to the edge. So that's a slip stitch. Go back into the the same uh, stitch. Go to the right, which is, I know, completely against everything you're used to. Pull up two stitches and then go through. Go to the right, pull up two stitches, and pull your hook through. And just keep doing that all the way around. The flap. All the way around the flap. When you get here I'll show you what to do next. Okay so I've done the edge all the way around here. So I've took my hook out at the end. I'm going to go through this one and then I'm going to go through this one. And then I'm going to take my loop and put it back on my hook. So let's tighten it down. And I want to seal off these edges. Okay. There's one. Go on the other side. Go on this side. Pull it through. You have those two. So here's the next one. I'll try not to pull it through. first loop on your hook. You're going to leave them both on there. Okay, so leave five, one, two, three, four, five. Five tops. Tops of the stitches. And just start doing single crochets around. Four, five. So go into that one. So I finished this. This is my um, finished bag. Uh, it's either a fanny pack or a bum bag, depending on what side of the Atlantic you are. I did a, cr a crab stitch and then I stitched around five stitches on the end here and I crab stitched out here and I stitched around five stitches here. Um, 
these could be the base for a five stitch uh, I cord that you could just continue to, to you know stitch out on both corners and then you could tie it around your waist. Um, you could make a, a webbing type, um, a belly dancer's belt. You can attach this uh, with some D rings or a little lobster clasp type things. Um, they're a little bit bigger. They eat, sometimes they're, they're on keychains. You could do that. Um, however you want to attach this bag to your body is up to you. But I will come up with a couple of ideas and add them as a playlist. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any ideas or questions. I welcome them, please. And um, just don't forget to crochet your way today.